Well, hello. Well, I tried to fit it all on here. <laughs> we're going to make shrimp egg rolls. Um, we're not going to use the entire pound of shrimp. I'm going to use a half pound. And I'm going to take enough out of here to make myself a couple of stir fries because I just love the color. I know, by the way, I live inside of an indoor greenhouse. So the coloring might be slightly off in here. But I got a broccoli slaw. I usually use like a coleslaw mix. But I like the colorfulness of this and I like the red cabbage. And I wanted to use some red onion. And uh, I already have my peppers and onions that I sauteed before. Otherwise I'd be putting in, oh, a half of a medium onion and a, how about a jalapeno? And the dill weed, lemon, black pepper. I'll show you how we put it all together for, we're gonna marinate first our shrimp. And then I'll show you how to do up the rest of this. If you have access to an oriental store, this is called Five Spice. It's really flavorful. It's really worth getting. But if you don't, it's okay. And the sesame oil. This is one that people use way too much of. But I'm going to show you how I make mine. And it's very simple. And the reason why the dish towel is here is because you need to have one that's wet. This, this is the really one of the only brands I've ever used. But you can pretty much pick these up in the refrigerator section. But once you open them, you want to put them back under, you know, like a wet towel. That's what I use as a wet dish towel. So that they don't dry out while you're working with them. We'll get to that. I rinsed it under cold water to thaw it some. Put the spices and things in there while it's sitting. But I wanted to mention something. Because I buy these. Oh, they come in 10 pound right to the store. They come in 10 pound bags. And at the very bottom of that bag, you, and they break it up for me into one pound bags so that I could take it home and put it in my freezer. But you got to realize that the very bottom of the bag is probably where a lot of the little, well, feet fall and shells. And if I hadn't gone through my last one better at the end, I wouldn't have found those. And those, I'm not sure if you can really choke on them, but it is rather unpleasant. So here's what I do. I just let the water run over it. Kind of break it up a little bit. You know, I thought of a little bit in the refrigerator first. And we're only going to use half of this, but I'm going to use the other. We're going to cook all the shrimp at one time so that I can use the rest of them for my stir fry I'm going to have. I like to have a little stir fry with my egg roll. But we're merely doing egg rolls today. Go ahead and season it with a little bit of pepper. Car steel weed. This one's a tricky one. I happen to know they don't have a lot of salt because I've eaten quite a few. But you really want to, you really want to know because it's something that you can't take back out. So I just measure it in my hand first. That's plenty. One thing, if you leave it on too long, dry like this, it will dry out your shrimp. So that's about all the salt I put in there. Now I end up adding just a little bit of uh, red pepper because I like it. You don't have to have it in there.
And careful with the lemon too. You can end up pulling out all of your flavor out of your shrimp. With the salt and the lemon. So see, I just lightly sprinkle it in there. And then, oh, I don't know, about a teaspoon. Hmm. That's a teaspoon of garlic. Oh yeah, and mix it with your hands. I find it to be best. And we're going to go ahead and let that sit in the refrigerator while we finish up the rest. And just put in a little bit of oil. On just one click above medium. Alright. I cut up my red onion. And I'm going to go in and put my broccoli slaw in. Now you can use coleslaw. You can use cabbage. Um, I just wanted this one because, well, I'm craving broccoli first of all. And uh, it was colorful. And I saved enough for two stir fries for myself later. I'm going to let that cook down just a little bit. It will. I hit it with a little seasoning. Got my pepper. Sesame seed oil, just a few drops. Soy sauce, most importantly, only a few drops. A little bit of salt, always measure it out in your hand.
pull them out, blow them out, and now it's time to throw them in since they've been cooked already. put about two tablespoons into a fourth a cup of cold water stir it quickly and pour it in to thicken it up Leave it in the pan. Put it in the put it in the oven or somewhere. Or <laughs> I don't like the bugs to get in it. Right now it's gnat season, so put it to the side or like me, put it in a bowl so you can get your shrimp. My butter's frozen again with the living so far from town. Yeah, I buy like six pounds at a time. Freeze it. That's what I use for my shrimp. I find with the oil, yeah. They don't, they're not as moist and tender. It may just be for um, egg rolls, but yeah. Same setting. Just one click above medium.
I'm going to do a total of eight minutes. suggest setting the timer because you don't want to overcook your shrimp. Now I'll show you what you do with it now. Go ahead and dump them out on a cutting board. What you're going to want to do is cut them into smaller pieces. I'd say, oh, about that size. Yes, the butcher knife would be simpler, but mine is dull. And ooh, yeah, I've used dull knives and cut myself terribly. So, here we go. I said I was using half for a stir fry, so I'm just going to take half of it, put it in with my stir fry stuff I already put together, vegetables. And um, at this point in time, you could freeze this, covered, well sealed, or you could just put it in the refrigerator, covered, well sealed, for later on. With shrimp, I don't like to mess around, but um. You can always roll them later, so you could do this in the morning and, and roll them at night. But hold on. Okay, now I'm just going to mix it in. Cover it, put it in the refrigerator while you get the rest of your stuff ready. I dampened a wash towel. And 
egg roll wraps. And I put them in here so they don't dry out, because they will. You know, I'm sorry, but I should have told you to get two wash rags or hand towels, because this is what you're going to put them in, but you're not going to want them to dry out either. So you're going to go ahead and cover them with another wet towel. Try not to let them rest on the egg rolls. And get your mix. And a little bit of water. I'll show you. We need to seal the edges. Lay it out like this. Kind of think of it like an envelope. So you lay your stuff down here. You want to bring this up over it. Get the edges a little wet. Don't get upset if all your egg rolls don't roll out to the same width and length. It's it's hit and miss, really. But don't frustrate yourself with it. And what you want to do is get your little top of your envelope wet, just like you're looking at it, about to send it off, and then roll it up. Make sure your seams are sealed. And yeah, that's a funky looking one. But we're going to do a few and put them in here. Cover them up so that they don't dry out. We're going to do the rest of them. because mine's getting rather full. Slip in a piece of parchment paper or wax paper to keep it from sticking.
throw it away. Or try, if you can, to fix the tear. And if you can't, just do it again. Okay, you want to put a healthy amount of oil in there. Now, what kind of oil you use is up to you. I just have vegetable oil, but some people, well, I would just love to try peanut oil. But since you waste so much of this, I'm not sure. medium high and uh, we'll wait because you stick a wooden spoon in there and as soon as it bubbles up around them you're good to go if you have a wire rack I'd suggest you use that so you can take them off there to drain and we're good to go I suggest putting these in slowly, you know, not too many in the pan at one time. about two minutes. I do set the timer and I turn it right about one minute and got a pretty good fry there. Your first three or your first uh, round you might not be very happy with but it gets better. And besides their egg rolls they're already cooked you're just pretty much trying to brown them and get them crispy. This, this, you just try your best to get it back together. I would re-roll it, but at this point in time, just try your best to get it back together there.
Okay, let's see. I know my lighting's different, but I got purple light everywhere. I live in an indoor greenhouse. This is what I like to dip my egg rolls in. Sweet chili sauce. And we're going to see how our egg rolls turned out. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can use duck sauce. You can use anything you like. I don't like this. You see, they're a little bit darker. Yeah, like you can see real well. Because we used all those dark colors and stuff. Well, let's see. Oh, I didn't hear a lot of crunch. But still. Oh, yeah. So let's see. I'm starving. Mmm. Mmm. It's crunchy. Tender. And I can definitely taste the shrimp. And that's all I really have for you today. You guys have yourself a lovely day. I'm going to carry on and eat my food. And maybe I won't be so cranky. I get cranky when I'm hungry. And this made me it smell good. Do not reuse your oil unless you're going to fry up more shrimp or fish or something. Because I'm telling you, I made the mistake of trying to make donuts one time with it. But yeah, it was uh, disturbing. So, I will talk to you later. Mm. Bye. Bye.